Hello everybody and welcome back to the Ark Survival Evolved and today I want to address a few things. First off, Twonk has raised the level cap to 150 on this server so you're gonna see a lot of dinos that are above 120 so right here this is one of them I got her at 150 for those of you that don't know and Twonk has also added several mods to the game or at least to you know this server so the first thing he added was reinforced wood and glass which is actually pretty awesome he's also upped the amount of things that you can place on platforms which is even more awesome so you know I've actually expanded this area and I put this little what what's going on what oh no what's going on I okay then let me move my guy a little bit okay well this is uh... it's not good excuse me for a moment while I go and uh, get this monstrosity fixed. Is my birdie fixed? Yes, yes it is. Please do not do that again. Alright, another little small update. I went uh, penguin crazy. And I named them all, all the boys tuxedos. So tuxedo boy, tuxedo junior, Tuxedo Man, and somewhere in here is Tuxedo Mask right there. And then there's Tuxedo Lady, Checkers, and Chocolate. I, I started running out of names for black and white. Anyway, on to the little tour. So I made this porch because going through here was a pain in the butt, especially when you're carrying over like 200 metal and you're just super overweight. It's not good at all. So I put a, a fabricator like far back. I've really just added one one more set of of ceilings so it can be even bigger because I like big houses and this is one of the mods that that uh, Twonk put in and it's actually really cool all you have to do is put wood in here and you make a bunch of coke it's I don't know why it's called coke I think I don't know whenever I think of coke I think of either the soda brand coke or I think of cocaine don't do drugs though so you can make a lot of metal and a lot of glass with that requires crystal and I actually left my little cursor in here so I can show you more stuff here is the electric stove it's like the grill but I assume it's a lot more portable that's the reason why they made it like that and this acts as a refrigerator so if you actually put a bunch of prime meat in there it will actually stay for a lot longer and will be cooked which is actually pretty good unless you're carrying like 50 prime meat and this is like you know a little portable refrigerator and the cool thing about this is that you can actually pick this thing up and that's the same with most of the the modded items here and here we got the little portable generator and it runs on oil which is you know super awesome I don't know what this mod is called, so if you're going to ask me what mod it is, I'd have to go ask Twonk. But if you want to know, you know, I can probably tell you. And this is a super fabricator, and you can make a lot of stuff in here. Like these little light bulbs, which is actually pretty awesome. So I actually have a light bulb here. And it works pretty well. It does light up the area quite a bit, but you really can't see it because, you know, it's uh, daylight outside, and my ceiling is glass. So I, I actually made it really nice and I also put, you know, a little railing here so I can, uh, you know, park my bird there and not have to worry about falling off. Alright, and one of these things not like the other. This one. This one is the alchemy kit. It's super awesome because this allows you to actually make a kibble for everything, although I do think it's a little bit too cheatsy, but when you think about how many eggs you need, it's... It's a pain in the butt, and you actually need that. So actually, I've showed you most of the mods. I'm gonna sh just show you the uh, kibblematic. So the kibblematic I have up here, and you can make a bunch of kibble. They have some for like Argentavis and Gigas and everything. No, they don't have Gigas. They have 
Gigantopithecus, sorry. Gigas and like most of the new dinosaurs don't have the kibble in here. The cool thing about it is that you can actually make like little sacks of food. Because see, this is a little sack. And your dinosaur won't eat it. And when you want to use it, you just click use and you open it. Let's see. Has anyone laid eggs here? Yes, someone has laid eggs. Excuse me while I get this egg. There we go. Got the eggs. Anybody else? Ooh. I don't get a lot of eggs from you guys. You little pteranodons. So that's pretty much it. And there is one more thing that he has added. And that is the pet finder. Which is awesome. And I've been using a ton of it. So right here you can see the suicide potion. I don't know why he would put that in there. Corpse finder, which is what I really need because I die a lot. And a pet finder because, you know, I just I lose my animals a lot. This right here I have not used yet. This is for no clipping so you can actually, you know, build into the wall. Which actually is kinda cool. But these are all the things that you can make in the super fabricator. This is all the the reinforced wood, and you have seen that in my base. My air base, anyway. And this is all the glass, which is actually pretty cool. Ah, where did I go? Okay. So, there's still some stuff here that I have not actually used yet, but I will use them in the future. I have used this, uh, this mulcher. It's actually pretty good, and it's also really fun. I have not used this gun yet, because making this, and making this, is just super expensive. They want like a lot of flowers for it. Like the rare flowers and I need rare flowers for my mind wipe. Alright, I've also maxed out my level. Woohoo! But I think I'm gonna reset my weight. I mean reset like all my stats so I can relearn everything that I want. And then some. Although Farron, he hasn't been here for so long that he's actually fallen through the floor and I can't actually get to him. Yeah, well, he, he'll get on eventually. But until that time, I've actually gotten a little Dimorphodon, and I named it Farron. Because I am bored. And these little guys right here, they protect me. If you ever need, um, if you ever, like, solo and you need help, just get one of these guys. These guys will keep you safe. Especially if you have your headphones off and you don't even realize you're being attacked. Which happens to me a lot. What's up, Stags? So, now that I've already given you the tour of the whole place and, you know, the mods and the things that Twonk has been doing, I'm gonna go and get myself an anglerfish. And hopefully, it actually succeeds because taming an anglerfish is very bad. Which is why I say I need food. And the only reason why it's bad is that. It, it takes a lot of shots to make it to pour go up enough to actually go unconscious. And I have done that several times where I've actually killed the anglerfish. Which really sucks. So, I will see you when, uh, when I find an anglerfish. Hopefully. Hello everybody, welcome back. And I just found a guy right here. He's not really my first victim. Come on. But I will try to get this guy. I know these guys are really hard to get. But that's mainly because, like, they tend to die before you can actually tame them. So the best thing to do is just wait, like, you know, three or four seconds and then fire. Otherwise, you know, they will have that bleed out effect. And I wish I was fast as Kevin. Come on, come over here. Oh yeah, I've also like taken an extra scuba gear because I know I'm going to uh, need it. Come on. Try have Nessie follow me. Follow me, Nessie. Oh, come on, get her back over here. I want to shoot you. Oh, 
Oh, cool. He has reached the, uh, the end of the line. Uh-oh. Nope. No! Nessie! Be the meat shield. Come on, get tamed already. Now you're already starting to look a little bit bloody. So I gotta wait for a while. Ah, uh, the only thing that sucks is that you can't use darts down here. You can only use tranquilizer. Now I've just learned that darts are actually really awesome. Hmm. Let me check just in case. Just for funsies. Uh oh. No! Yep. It does not work. We need to come up with like a better method of taming these guys. Oh come on! Why? I had the perfect shot. I see you're very distracting. Keep thinking your plezio is gonna take a few munchies off of me. These guys are pretty easy to hit. They're just. It takes so long. I've seen plezios that are easier. Uh oh. Please tell me I shot him and not you, Nessie. Oh, is he down? Yes, he is down. And I got kibble. Um, first things first. I need... I need this. Uh-oh. What the fudge? Oh, you gotta be joking. Oh. Oh, you gotta be joking. No, I can't do this. There we go. Thank you, Nessie. Keep following me. Stay right over there. Oh, I'm about to die. It's not good. Or at least you don't seem to be, uh, you know, getting too far along. It's kind of hard to tell that these guys are actually unconscious. Oh, but he was very close to death, as you can see. Tiny, tiny sliver. Alright. I know these guys are very horrible with Topor, so I'm going to get some more of these. Eat an egg, because I need health. Oh, I can't. Oh yeah, there's also that weird thing where you just can't eat unless you, uh... You're in a dino. It's weird. I guess I can understand. I'm just going to keep eating even though I'm full just to get some health back. Okay, you know what? I am just really, really... Not patient right now, so let's do this. Uh oh, where you go? Oh, cool! It actually went up a lot. How much kib kibble did you have? You had okay. You had two kibble. All right, that's good. No, Nessie, why? Well, my taming was ruined. Nessie, how could you? Well, a shark did it. Oh well. It seems that I have lost a future uh, little angler. Oh well. Uh, I'll find another one eventually. Uh, I do find it odd that it actually still glows even though it's dead. Yeah, it's dead, right? Yep. I hate sharks. Simply because they ruin my taming. Oh, so close. I have my kibble back, right? Yep. Fortune kibble. Alright, time to go hunt down another angler. Right now Kevin's trying to get him and I'm just trying to uh, keep up. Hopefully I can help her.
But Kevin really, really wants this guy, so I'll let her keep it. So I will see you guys when, uh, when this little fish run is over. Hello everybody, right now we just got ourselves an anglerfish. Woohoo! We almost killed it though, but fortunately, it's still here. So, we're gonna see how long this takes. It's gonna take a while. We'll need a lot of prime for this. Oh yeah, almost done. Woot woot! We still got plenty of meat, so it should be enough to tame it. Hopefully I can get the little dossier, because I do not want to do this again. Because this, this is like taming a spino. Or at least in Kevin's word, it's like taming a spino. Alright, so how much more? Take more bites, please. Please eat faster. Wait, how much... How much scuba gear? Oh, my scuba gear. My chest is about to break. <laughs> Yay, it's tamed! Ooh, shiny. I'll let you guys read that on your own. Sorry if this is blocked. So, how many more people do I need? Just need a few more. I named it. I want to ride it. Let me ride it. It's kind of like riding a dolphin, except it's uglier. Mm. Alright, now that we've got ourselves an anglerfish, it's time to go back home. Have to hand feed it, right? Why is it not showing no. up? Yeah, you, you have to have a pike out and then you just start swinging. That's a lie. Come on. Club it or crank it. 